Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to guide you on how you can easily use SignNow. SignNow is a simple tool that you can use for electronic signature and all you have to do is go to top notch and click free trial. Now guys, if you already own the account, just skip this step. Now I'll just write here the temporary email that I have and password. And I'll start your free trial. Confirm your email address. Now I'll just refresh it. And voila, sign now. I'm going to verify email address. And now the account is going to be created. Same for you. And here we are. So welcome to sign now, upload documents, add fields, send down, track progress. It's that simple. <laughs> so start now. So first thing first, you can start now and upload the documents straight away. So we can try to do that if you want to, but I would rather show you everything. So first I'm going to give you a walkthrough of sign now. So don't click uh, the start now and upload. Let me show you around and how it actually works. Next. Like this. And here we are. So when you're going to enter sign now, on the right side, you could be able to see upload and create. You can upload documents, create document group, or you can choose create document from group template or upload templates. You can use the templates then automatically. So let's say uh, that you would be using some kind of, let's say I would be working in legal and then I'm going to send some really important papers in which I would just be like changing the name. So I could use the template here. Now, then I can archive document groups and document templates. Then on the left bottom, you're going to see my teams and you can create a team so you can invite other people. Then when we are directly in my account, when I would go back here, so I can go to the right and click my account here. I recommend like adding add full name, signature and initials. So let's do that. First name stone. Mark a stone and this is the signature that we have. I can change it if I want to. Like this one completely up to you and click save. And then uh, this is the default signature that I have. Of course, you can manage it and you can add a new signature. And as you can see, you can this is the signature and you can draw your own. So I'm going to draw it right now. You can do it too. And click save. And I'm going to set it as my default one. And then you can also add a stamp. Then you can add your own phone number here, guys, and your own address and profile photo. So that's what you can do. Now, right then under user profile, you're going to see settings where you can find two factor additional settings as a date format. You can delete your account here and notification settings where you can change those two. So this is what you can do. And then you're going to see cloud storage and my teams. Now, when we would go back and you can also add four number not now, we can go to now to creating the document. So you would come to the top left, upload and create. Let's say I'm going to create or upload document. Now, right here, I have like just a document here and it's uploading. And I just wait until it's going to process it. And right here, here we go. So. When you're going to have your own document, this is just a paper, you know, what's your name, Marcus, that I pre-prepared. And let's say I'm going to have signer one and I can edit the signers on the top left. I can click on it and look at this. Signer one, enter the name and email address of all the signers that needs to sign this document. So let's say signer one is going to be Marcus Stone and my email that I'm going to copy. 
And then the second person would be Marcus Klein. And this is going to be uh, my second email. First email and second email. Like this. So these are will be asked to sign first. But of course, uh, they'll be also yours. Let me show you. So I can click here now. These are the requests. So right now, imagine that I'm going to have signature field here. And I have Marcus Stone here or Marcus Client here, right? So I'm going to have Marcus Client and Marcus Stone. Then I can add also text field here and text field here. See, and you can edit everything here from role, from validation type, characters, advanced. Then we're going to see the date and time field. And I can have date and time field for here. And let's move it like this. Let's move it like this. And of course, you can on the right side see label, role validation type, calculated field, initials. I can create that. And for Marcus client, initials. See? Here we go. And then you get like checkbox field, radio button group, drop down field, request attachments. So let's say that you're requesting attachments for the person. And they could like upload stuff. And then edit and sign. And this is your signature. This is where it starts. So this is what I wanted to share with you. That you can, yes, you can do it like this, that you're asking requests. Or you can have your own initials, your own signature, your own stamp. It's up to you how, which way you choose. Like I could have deleted this. And have directly just signed. But I can to send it to myself and then send and sign it. Or I can have only myself here and only the second person would sign it. So I can completely delete everything. So imagine this is going to be my sign, my initials like this and today's date. So I don't have to, I don't have to sign anything actually because my sign is prepared here. So that's how it works and that's how it is. So there are two ways how you can do it. You can request and have it like this, but this is much effective way because you are going to miss one step to have it when you would scroll down and you would add your own signature straight away. So you're already sending the document to the, your client. You are not sending it to you again, and that's really good. So that's something uh, to keep in mind. Of course, I recommend like you have like new form here and that's pretty much how we do it. Now, when you have it, go to top right and click invite to sign. And let me show you how it actually looks like. Look at this. Recipients receive documents at the same time or in order. So I can be in order to which is going to be first and second. And then actions on completion. On completion, you can request payment or redirect after signing. And they would be mm, like added to some link to some access something. And then I will click send invite. Great job. And look at this. Get started. So I can uh, sign it right here. And now let me show you also how it looks like on second email. Look at this. This is the email, view document, open link in incognito window. English, get started. I would scroll down below, one, two, three. Next, signature field. I can change the signature, add a new one. Initial field. And date field today. See, and then I would click done. Document saved successfully. And I'm going back to my normal one. 
and here I'm going to have a signature field, initial field, date field. See, this is everything that I have pre-created again. You get it, right? So, because that's a my email that's assigned now. So these are the two ways how we can actually do it. You can send it to yourself and you can like double check it or you can send it directly with your initials and everything. So then click next to close done. And let's see how it looks like. So look at this. Now we are back in documents. In documents, you can see the new form here. Signers, both me and both the email that I sent. You can now open it. You can email a copy, quick preview, download it, delete it, archivate, mode, merge, download with history, create a copy. So as you can see, this is how we do it. And you can also make a template from it. So I can click make a template, template name, And I can create a template. And I would find like the templates here and I can uh, use it easily. I would have it in documents and in templates. I can invite to sign. Or I can upload or create. Upload document or upload template. And I can see templates, click here, next. And you can create document group template. So we can have like group template here. So that's what we can do. Or I can simply click template here and invite to sign. And I can edit the document copy. See these people I'm going to invite. And this is the template that I have. So this is pretty much it, how we can do it. And this is how we can work also with templates. It's nothing like really hard to understand on like grab to how to, how to actually use it. It's like pretty straightforward. And yeah, I don't know what else to show you guys. You just have to like test it out, play around it as much as you can. But this is pretty much it, how we can use sign now. If you can have any questions, ask me down in the comments. I'll be happy to help you and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.